Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. In this video, I'm going to be making this custom dashboard out of 8th inch aluminum, and then I'm going to modify my steering column. I'm going to put a couple U joints in there to get the steering wheel placement a little bit nicer and right where I want it. So, enjoy the video. Okay, so I have the steering column um, bolted in right now. I have the um, template for the steering wheel here kind of squared up on the, the steering column. And I, what I don't really like is how uneven the spacing is between the steering wheel and the cowl here. I have this cardboard template pretty much exactly perpendicular on the shaft here. And you can see how much space there is here and it really narrows out up there. And I, I don't really like that look. I kind of want it to look a little bit more even sort of like that, where it's a more even spacing all the way around. So I have a couple U-joints here. I'm going to use these. I'm going to cut up the steering column in a couple places, um, put these in so that I can articulate it so that I have the steering wheel looking the way I want it to.
Okay, so I have the setup in here now. I used some three-quarter inch all thread that you can see in there as a placeholder for um, the steering shaft before I cut that up. I wanted to make sure I got all the, the lengths correct and have it laid out up here. I just have a, a cut out in my cardboard dash right there that I used for the, the template for cutting out the actual dash. Um, but you can see the steering wheel placement is much better than before. It's nice and even all around here. It's pretty much in line with the um, dashboard too. So that's set up nicely now. I'm going to cut the hole in the actual dashboard and then cut out the steering column and assemble the real thing.
As you can see here, I've got the dashboard bolted in, the steering column is all laid out, it's nice and solid in there, uh, the couple U-joints got the steering wheel right where I want it, uh, it's going to look much better in this position than if it was just a straight column through, and because I've put a couple bends in there, I'm going to have a little bit more foot room as well, so that will definitely help things out eventually when I start making the pedals, um, because it is going to be pretty cramped up here once the engine and transmission are in, but I think there'll be enough room for, for everything. So in the next video, I'm gonna start making the steering wheel itself. I'm gonna go with like a, a vintage four spoke design out of some sheet metal with a wooden rim around the edge. Uh, so I think that's gonna be a really fun project. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.